I have a little cousin that's four years old and we were shopping like in a supermarket, right? And I was following her and she kept on running away from me like as a joke, right? Like she was playing and I kept chasing her and I had like this idea in the back of my head like, can you please stop running? But I was just like lethargic. Like I, like you know what I mean, bro. You don't really feel like moving. You're like very tired, right? Like in throughout the day. And when you were a kid, that wasn't a thing. Like you'd randomly come up and, and just start like doing shit. You'd randomly like start break dancing on the floor. You'd randomly start like going upstairs. And now it feels like our optimal state is just but sitting down like a fucking potato i've been thinking about why this is a thing and i've been changing it and so that's basically everything you're gonna get in this video and i'm york and i help gamers like you start ranking up in real life instead of on the pc subscribe now and start changing your life for the better i'm not gonna waste the time reason number one is micronutrients okay if you do not have every single micronutrient in the perfect amount you will not have energy you will be tired all the time that is the problem that we're facing we are overfed undernourished because most of the food that we're eating simply does not have enough nutrition okay now i can give you the basic answer of fruits vegetables and fucking you're not gonna actually eat vegetables who the fuck likes to eat vegetables like no like the vegetables is not the biggest part of the meal because that is disgusting okay you'd have to add like some weird oil to it if you want to get the most micronutrient dense foods you need to eat animal foods specifically these ones okay beef or any ruminant animal egg yolks and milk those are the most nutrient dense foods and, and there's more like organs and shit but like you're probably not gonna eat that now when you start getting into vegetables and grains and cereals like they say it's like th these nutrition people they base nutrition based off of what isn't bad for you apparently meat is bad for you so th so that's out of the equation and so instead we should have like bread and fucking cornflakes and the thing with that is that it's very low in micronutrients and so yeah oh it doesn't have saturated fat though it doesn't have cholesterol but you're fucking tired all the time because they don't have micronutrients now I don't think it's the end of the world if you eat vegetables, right? But I, I would honestly say like the 10 out of 10 thing you can follow. How to eat for health actually explained and it's like really fucking good, okay? It basically gives you a pyramid of like the, what most of your diet should look like, which is ruminant meat or maybe some eggs, whole milk as well with that. Because I guarantee you, bro, if you're having like a regular diet, like a healthy, even balanced diet, you're basically waking up. What, what are you having? Let me guess, like fucking cereals, like porridge, like oats, you know, like bread type of grain, type of like pasta type of shit that has no usable protein, no actual nutrients. Nutrients. Like every time I tell this to my mom, she says she says I'm crazy. But look at it; it doesn't have nutrients. Potatoes, bro, it doesn't actually have that much nutrients. If you think about an egg yolk, if you think about beef, it is like the the things that kept an animal alive. And I, we are animals, right? So why the fuck would we want to eat plants in the ground which have defense chemicals? Because like I'm not eating that shit, bro. There's a reason why when you put it in your mouth, it tastes like shit and you hate it. That's vegetables, okay? There's a reason why like our ancestors would really care about fucking vegetables. Like they were such low calorie think about it you have to chew like on this piece of broccoli do you think they cared about it that much like the fucking five whole calories you get from it probably not number two is stable energy levels okay now i, I already talked about the micronutrients so now you're gonna have like actual energy so blood glucose is how much sugar is in your blood and that's how much like you feel good that's that's like how energetic you feel like if you have like a very low amount of sugar in your blood then you're gonna feel like you like you don't want to run you don't want to walk you just want to sit down all the time and when you have like a high level of sugar you're gonna feel like fucking doing everything right so people think like the answer to this to actually get more energetic is just to eat a bunch of sugar and that's like what the like basically by the, by the way guys carbs are basically sugar so pasta like spaghetti you might think that's just carbs or, or like rice that's carbs not sugar they actually all get turned into sugar by the body so they're basically all actually fucking sugar when the whole internet and your dietitian and your doctor says to eat most of your calories from carbs rice pasta bread they're basically telling you to eat a bunch of sugar because they think that's going to increase your blood sugar levels which is going to make you feel more energetic the thing is it does actually increase your blood sugar levels but then it goes back down to lower than it was before and so you have like a chronically low level of blood sugar except like uh, 30 minutes after you eat a meal and so instead you want to do the opposite thing and this is basically just fat burning most of your calories should come from fat because that is like a steady source of energy that does not have any dips and, and, and any fucking fluctuations okay if you eat most fat you will go through this period it's called the keto flu where you'll feel like basically shit chronically very low blood sugar because you know your whole life you've been fucking spiking it to get it up and so you're basically just gonna have it constantly low but then your body's gonna adapt and once it realizes that the fat can be used for fuel it starts to work on that and it starts like basically giving you like stable energy and you'll feel fucking good just experiment with that and also something i also want to mention is that this is an extra little bonus when i used to walk back from school i'd always feel like i needed a nap like after walking and i i, I always knew it's like i feel like the sugar in my 
my blood is low after walking and and the reason why that happens is because you're so used to sitting down and being like a fucking potato right that <laughs> that your body is shit at using fat for fuel so basically when you walk you're burning carbs and that's that's shit because if you go to a gym which you should be going to the gym you you, you want to be burning carbs in the gym not for walking not for jogging okay so you want to start to work on that the way you work on that the way you you work better on your fat utilization it isn't even eating like a high fat diet and not eating carbs because you, you might think oh if i don't eat carbs and it can't use carbs the body will just turn the protein into carbs to use the carbs and you'll and you'll feel tired again so what you need to do is stay in zone two and that's basically like a heart rate zone so you can track it with like a watch or something and it will tell you what zone you are so basically zone zero is like you're just chilling zone one is like you're walking zone two is like you're basically like light walking right you're doing like a bit of a jog like this and that's what's gonna help you increase like the fat oxidization which means that you're going to basically like if you're walking you're not gonna you're gonna be utilizing more fat instead of carbs which isn't it's not really to make you lose fat like you're probably not gonna lose a decent amount even from that it's just from stable energy levels and feeling good like a kid again number three is technology and i've suffered with this a lot bro i, I was having like an existential crisis a few months ago where i just felt like i was wasting so much time on youtube i kept on scrolling instagram reels all like, oh man fucking getting on discord with my friends wasting time and i i I had so many things I wanted to do. I wanted to finish my homework. I wanted to record videos like this. I wanted to read books. Default attack. Like, you know, like left click is just like the, the default thing that you do in every game. Like my, my main attack was literally just fucking opening YouTube. That was my main left click of, of real life. And I even went through a period where I was like, fuck this. I've had enough. And I literally, I turned off my Wi-Fi. Like, I literally turned off my router. And then I started having problems with, you know, family members trying to fucking use the Wi-Fi that we pay for. And I was like, like, there's no getting out of this, right? Maybe I'd have to like mess like someone like oh are we walking to school together or something and it, like there's no getting out of it but i kept on working at it and i found a solution okay you can literally get it is so fucking good it's called stay focused on google and you can apply it basically on fucking everything okay i don't give a fuck on your phone delete all of the apps on your pc bro get rid of youtube okay i don't care get rid of youtube get all of that stuff off and you've probably heard this this advice before but the reason you haven't taken action on it is because there's still things that you want youtube for okay and i've made a video on this called the gg starter pack where basically it talks about like how to monitor your internet usage what i would say is just leave a period throughout the day like an actual timetable period like from this time to this time i can use the internet and that way you're not gonna quit like your whole goal of stopping the internet because you'll just think okay i can use instagram i can see where my friends what, what they're doing what they're up to at 10 p.m i can see if you know you has uploaded on youtube at 10 p.m it's fine i can see that okay i can watch any like jeff nippa like fucking gym video at 10 p.m it's fine i can watch it but if you think no fuck it i'm gonna completely cut it out of my life forever you're just gonna get rid of the fucking extension because like okay, you need to go on youtube to like look something up real quick or something right so so that's that's the way you fix it your default action becomes picking up a book you know why your head fucking hurts when it's cold outside you haven't even showered you're, you're like you got back from school and you're sitting down on your bed like a fucking gremlin you know why it hurts it's because your your, your brain can't even think it's suffocating from the tiktok and yet it only like, it's suffocating from tiktok when you get off of tiktok when you sit alone in your room by yourself you feel the tension don't you you feel the pull towards grabbing your phone you feel like getting stimulated anyways bro if this video did help you make sure to smash like subscribe and also the top link in the description is my one-on-one -on -one coaching call if you want to book one with me see you bro